Hello, my friends. Poet WP. Today, uh, I got a poem that I wrote um, about nine months ago. Well, no, more like a year ago or so. Um, and I'll tell you, like, what inspired me to write it after I read it. <clears throat> called Gossip Girls. <clears throat> Your ego doesn't glisten so well in this light. The competition will not be annihilated. It will be whitewashed into non-existence. The truth be told and dreams they mold like mausoleums es excavated in proletariat delusion. Symptoms of the disavowed Hollow, homeless, fractured spirits. Disciplined as field mice. Clinging to the falsehood of past realities. The lost remain that way until they find themselves. Uh, this poem I wrote as I write so many other poems. Uh, whenever I go to the bar, I rarely go to the bars anymore. Uh, but once in a blue moon, I still, I will go just to socialize and, you know, teach their own. But there was, uh, I was hanging out at the bar, and there was this girl there that I had met a couple other times I knew through a friend, right? And, like, there were other girls around her that were mean to her for whatever reason. And, uh, and then, like, they kind of insulted her a little bit, like, snidely and vaguely, um, and then kind of walked off. I was standing next to her because I had, was talking to her because my friend, I was with my friend, and we were both talking to her because my friend knew her, right? These other girls came up, and they had an exchange of words, and they were very rude to her, and they, um, pretty much insulted her. Kind of like subtly, kind of like with two faced, kind of kind of uh, backhanded compliment kind of deal, and I think she, I think uh, one of the uh, there was like four or five of these girls, and they just ganged up on this girl, and each each of them had like a little interjection of some negative critique, just like high school chicks, right? And these. These young women, like, you know, were, I assume were in their mid-twenties, I'd say. Maybe late-twenties. And I found it disheartening. So I I was real, I tried to be, you know, I... My friend went off to get some more beers or whatever, and, and, and then the girls walked off kind of in a huff, right? Acting all pissy. And then when they walked off, I looked at the girls' eyes, you know who they were being mean to, who I'd, you know, had talked to a little bit, or was talking to. And she just looked like this, def she had this defeated, the kind of deflated look, you know? And I felt like a real sense of empathy for her. Because I knew how that feeling was, because there have been lots of times in my life, countless times, where I was in an exact similar situation, right? Only like the ma the male version, right? And, Within the male, the male cultural thing of America, you know, and how it is with our culture, or certain the outsider, right? The guy, uh, the person that doesn't fit in, the square peg, you know, in a world of round holes. You know that girl was like that. That young lady was like that. Young woman, and it didn't jive with. These other, these other broads, that's a term, you don't hear that word anymore, it's like a grandpa word, so, you know, and it made me feel real bad, I felt a deep empathy, because I really knew what that felt like, you know, so anyway, that's what that poem was inspired by, like, that's what inspired me to write it.
The explanation was much longer than the story. It was much longer than the poem. <laughs> anyway. If you've stuck through this whole video, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, yeah, and uh, this is copyrighted under my pseudonym, Gabriel Samadhi. Alrighty. Catch you later.